Good day and welcome to the channel. In this uh, short video, we are going to explore, we're going to unbox, set up, and review the uh, Dokes Play DR1561G portable uh, monitor. The G stands for gaming, as in it's a gaming monitor. And you might ask what that means. Well, it's 120 hertz. So it refreshes at 120 times a second, which makes it a gaming monitor. And what makes this monitor different from any monitor you might have used before is that it's portable. This is a basically a, a monitor with a giant battery in it. It's a 10,800 battery, so close to 11,000. And uh, that'll let it run for quite a few hours. Note that this is a follow-up to the uh, video we did last week on the uh, Dope Display Monitor that actually has a full keyboard built in and can turn your phone uh, into a full Chromebook if you have a Samsung or an Android device and you can use as a second monitor for a PC gaming system uh, or whatever else. This is very similar except it doesn't have the keyboard. I just flipped through the manual and it's actually pretty useful, uh, which is a bit of a surprise. Large graphics, uh, simple to understand, explains how to connect it, so on and so forth. We'll leave that because we're going to go over that. This monitor is a touch screen, which means you can use up to 10, well, in this case, you can use up to 10 fingers on at the same time. And, but it doesn't work with everything. So they've got this, how to activate the touch feature on this. And what it gets down to is you need to have a USB cable connected to it. Here's the unit, we'll open that in a second. Cables, typical charger. I'm in North America. One of the nice things with this is it does fold over, which is handy for travel. Not gonna break it off. And then uh, a variety of uh, cables. We've got USB Type-C, including one with an L, which is handy. We've got HDMI to mini HDMI. And that's because this will have mini HDMI on it. And then we have some adapter cords, USB to USB, the older to the newer USB Type-A. Yes, that is the newer one. <laughs> And then this will note out the USB Type-A, yeah. USB Type-A to USB Type-C. Yes, that's what it is. Nothing else in the box. Simple. So that type cover just comes off. Don't need it. So what do we have here? We have power. We have, that's for your charger. So here, that's your USB Type-C for charging. Brightness, volume. Nothing else, nothing else, nothing on the back, nothing on the bottom. And then on this side are where all the useful ports are. So we have a USB Type-C port, a mini HDMI port, and what, it's, what it calls an OTG port, which is a micro USB port. Let's power it up and test it. No signal, that's correct. Let's plug something in. HDMI for my laptop, mini HDMI for the dope display. Bingo, just that hard. No touch, why is there no touch? Because they didn't plug in USB, that's why. Just a note, you might see some flickering on here in the camera, it's not actually there. It's because the refresh rate of the screen is similar to the uh, refresh that I'm taking the video in and so there's a conflict. So if that's there, don't worry about it. It's not there in reality. USB type A for my laptop. USB type C for the dope's play. It's up boys and girls. Now I'm going to take my Samsung S22, which is just a normal Android device, nothing exceptional. And let's take the included USB to USB-C cables. I think it's just going to pop up and do, look at that, went straight to Samsung DeX. There we go, I now have a Chromebook. Pretty cool. All right, so let's get to some numbers. Uh, we've already, and a couple of other things. We've already shown you how easy this is to set up. Basically, it's plug it in and turn it on. 
and you're good to go. But there are a number of other things that you should know. Firstly, if you have an Apple device, this will work just fine. So if you have an iPhone or something like that, it'll work just fine. If you have a you know a MacBook Pro, something like that, work great. But the touch screen won't work. Fine, okay, as long as you know that going in, who cares? Um, the battery, how long is the battery life? Well, the battery they claim is six hours. So, you know, everybody stretches that, that's ideal conditions, low use, blah, blah, blah. So let's say it's five hours use, that's a pretty long time. So one of the things I should have explained was that if you have a device plugged in that can charge from USB-C, uh, in other words, your phone, mostly, most phones, uh, the electricity will come from the battery that's here and actually charge your device. And that gets to the actual battery, what's in here? Well, it's not one battery, but it's actually two. It's two 5,400 milliamp batteries uh, for a total of 1,080, so let's just round it to an 1,100 uh, milliamp battery. Pretty large. Now, normally, if you watch this channel, you know we pull things apart, but there's nothing in here. It's just a screen uh, with a few, there'll be a little control board here and a gigantic battery. And you can see in the uh, uh, the other video that we did for no, for the Dope Display product with the keyboard uh, that that is all that's in there. We're not going to bother with this one because it's just going to be the same. And to be clear, this is the Dope's Play DR1561G. G again meaning gaming, gaming again meaning that it's 120 hertz. In other words, it refreshes at 120 hertz, 120 times per second. And why would you care about that? Well, most people won't, but you might because you can connect this to your PlayStation 4. You can connect this to an Xbox. You can connect this to a, a, a Nintendo Switch which makes this ideal for people, you know, especially kids that want to go to their friend's house and team up and all work collaboratively, collaboratively in the same room. This is really nice for that. It's a 15.6 inch diagonal screen and it's 1920 by 1080. So 1920 dots across by 1080 dots down. So that's a lot of pixels, which means everything's clear. It's an IPS screen. IPS screens are pretty good. So the color looks good, the brightness looks good, I like it. And as far as the build quality goes, it looks pretty good to me. So this looks like a solid, you know, professionally made device. It doesn't feel like junk, it doesn't feel, you know, this is a plastic rather than an aluminum, uh, which means it'll scratch. Oh well, um, but it's very, very light. You, won't, you will have no trouble transporting this. As far as drawbacks go, the only one that I can see right this moment is that there isn't an included uh, lightning to USB cable included in here, in, in, you know, in all the assorted cables. That seems to be the only drawback. So if you have an Apple, if you're an Apple person, you need to have a lightning to a, to USB a, adapter. We do like the product. And hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, also, subscribe is always appreciated. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Uh, or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to somebody else will because it's on YouTube and everybody's got an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.